Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to access your Azure SQL database from your local system. So let's get straight into it. When you create SQL Server on Azure, you cannot connect to it from your local machine by default. Now, the reason for this is to prevent anyone from the internet from connecting to your SQL Server up on Azure. So if for some reason you want to allow anyone access to it, you're going to have to explicitly whitelist their IP address. And you can do this by creating a new firewall rule in Azure. Let me show you how that is done from the portal. I already have my SQL database created, as you can see here. So if you click on the overview blade, uh, you are able to see the server name. So regardless of which tool you're using to connect to the database, you're going to need the server name uh, to connect. So I'm going to copy this and launch my SQL Server Management Studio. I'll put in the name here. So you can use any of the authentication depending on the option that you've chosen while creating your SQL Server in Azure. For me, I'm going with SQL Server Authentication. So I'm going to type in my username and then my password. So as you can see here, we're not, we're not able to connect. And the reason is because the connection was refused. It was denied since we're connecting from a public network. So to resolve this, you're going to need to configure firewall rules. So let me show you how to do that quickly. I'll go back to the Azure portal. And uh, from the overview blade, you'll notice this set server firewall link here. So I'll give that a click. So as you can see here, when people try to access it from a public network, the default setting is set to disable. So I'm going to select the second option here, selected network, and scroll down to firewall rule and add the IP address of my local machine. So once I'm through with this, I'll click on save. Now let's go back to our management studio and give this a try one more time. So it's telling me that I'm not signing into Azure. So I'll just quickly sign into Azure now. There you go. So as you can see, we're now able to have access to our Azure SQL database from this local machine. All right. If you like this video, click here for similar video just like this one. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.